Located in the southern tier region of upstate New York, the Arnett Mall, built in the 1960s, is one of the United States' original indoor malls. Housed inside this structure is Time Out Family Entertainment Center, one of the country's oldest video game arcades. Time Out was installed in the mall in the late 1970s when video games were becoming mainstream with the help of home gaming systems. Throughout the 80s, the arcade sported an arched entrance and was known as the Time Out Tunnel. During the 1980s, Time Out was owned by Sega. Kids loved video games, and while the home consoles provided hours of fun, gamers still flocked to the arcade to get their fix of the latest titles which had not yet hit the home platforms. The arcade cabinets of these titles featured dedicated logic boards that rendered graphics and sound far superior to what the home versions of the time could process. This meant that even after a game could be played in the living room, players still pumped their quarters into the arcade cabinet to get the full experience. Before the days of logic boards that could retain high scores, Time Out used cards to display the current high score, the person who claimed it, and the date. The game room's original clientele has since grown up, but many look back with fondness on days spent chomping ghosts and zapping alien robots. Chris Kwasney worked at the arcade from 1989 to 1999. I'd have to say my Time Out experience began as early as 1980. I remember going up there as a, a young teenager to play the games after school on a Friday night, a Saturday night, we'd all go up there and at the time they were just opening and they probably had 25, 30 machines, but just to walk into the place and never have experienced it before was just so, just so over overwhelming if you were into that sort of thing. So they had all these different games it seemed like every week they'd, they'd get a new game and then people would be lined up to play it. I mean, even if you your game only lasted two or three minutes and your game was over, you'd still have the time of your life playing it. I worked there on and off for, for a number of years, and I tell you, it was, it was the greatest experience, one of the few jobs that you could actually say you, you love doing. I uh, have moved on since then, but I still have memories of working there, and it was, it was a great experience. I miss it. Time Out, like other arcades during the 80s, also boasted pinball machines, which appealed not only to the younger set, but also to their parents, who were no strangers at hitting targets with a silver sphere and racking up that high score. By the early 1980s, the electromechanical, or EM, pinball machines had been largely replaced with new tables featuring digital readouts and sound effects, allowing for more depth of gameplay. Time Out featured some of the most advanced machines, including Haunted House, the first pinball with two playfields. By the 1990s, ownership of Time Out had changed to Namco, and the famous arched entryway gave way to a standard mall storefront. The games inside reflected the fighting game craze brought about by titles such as Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. During the peak of the fighting frenzy, Time Out hosted titles including the Mortal Kombat series, Super Street Fighter 2, and a six-slot Neo Geo running several fighters. Mike Denkenberger was a fighting game fanatic during the glory years of the genre. I like Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. That was probably one of my, uh, my all-time favorite fighting game. I also like Mortal Kombat 2. Um, it, it was a great game. I mean, it really, there was a lot of competition and, you know, everybody would, would play the game, come up there and, and uh, you know, go on a Friday or Saturday night and spend three or four or five hours there on a, on a dollar if you're really good at it. I like Time Out because it was like the ultimate arcade. Yeah, there were a few in the areas that we used to go to, but Time Out was was the, the ultimate. We'd go there and they just had so many games and the lights. I mean, it was just great seeing the people up there just waiting for the games and, you know, seeing the quarters on the machine and waiting your turn. And it, it was just a great feeling. With the advancement of technology and home game systems, many arcades across the nation have faded into fond memories. However, Time Out has withstood the competition. The game room now features an array of crane machines and ticket dispensing games wherein players can cash in their winnings for prizes, many of which are not available in stores. At its core, Time Out has stayed true to gaming purists. In fact, half the location is dedicated to competition on modern video games. <laughs> Veteran players haven't been overlooked. They can find some classic titles that they may have played in the very same spa almost three decades ago. The arcade uses the original high scorecards on this Ms. Pac-Man Galaga machine. 
A true fixture of the southern tier, Time Out remains a premier location for gamers to gather. If you happen to find yourself in upstate New York, pay a visit to the arcade that's seen it all. From pole position to NASCAR. From space invaders to motion simulators. Time Out has been there for four generations of players, and there's no game over in sight.